Okay, now I'm beginning with this next tutorial. Um, I was asked how I do my bling um, crushed glass switch plates for your light switches and outlets. So what I did with mine around my uh, countertop area, I just took some paint and I know this is a small little piece for this paintbrush, but um, this is the only thing I have right now. But you can just get any color paint that you want. And what I did is I just painted my switch plates black because I have black, white, and silver in my kitchen area now. So um, you can use any color paint that you want. And I just painted it with one coat and then I set it aside to dry. I'm going to let that run over there and stay. And now, just to be a little quicker, I have one that's already painted black, that's dry. And what I did was, I have this Elmer's Goes on Purple Dries Clear. It's glue. It's very, very good. It dries clear, as it says. And what I did was, I just took the glue and I just kind of scribbled it across the switch plate. You can use acrylic glue. I'm sorry, acrylic paint, but what's, what I noticed was when you use acrylic paint and then you use anything um, as far as a moist, um, I guess, like, like glue or if it gets wet or something like that, then it'll wash, it'll come right off. So with this project, I just use regular paint that will stay and I just scribble the glue all the way across the the switch plate until it was covered and I didn't take it along the sides I just mainly just put it on the top area Okay, and then I took my crushed glass that I got from um, Amazon. They have these at Michaels as well. I just always order from Amazon because I have Amazon Prime and it comes so fast. My um, orders do and I've ordered from Michaels and I will order more from there. But I got this from Amazon. So what I did was I coated the plate with glue. And then I just sprinkled some of the fresh glass on. And of course, um, you can use Mod Podge. I like to use you know any kind of glue like this because you have less foliage and with Mod Podge it helps it's, it's a sealant but it has like you know for a project like this it's a lot of glass foliage and with this it's not much at all so now that I have the crushed glass on there um, I don't think I'm going to use a lot of it. And that's enough right there. And now I'm also going to take my silver glitter that I also purchased from Amazon some time ago. And I'm going to just sprinkle some of the glitter on top of it while the glue is still wet. Now with this project, even though I said I didn't use the Mod Podge um, as far as applying the, the crushed glass, I will be using it to seal in the crushed glass and the glitter. So this is pretty much it. You can take it as far as you want. You can like go over it twice and 
um, with the crushed glass and more glitter, but this is pretty much good for me. I like bling. I don't like a lot of it, so this is perfect enough for me. And this is how it looks so far. So what I'll do is I'll get my Mod Podge and a brush, and I'll just I'll just place some uh, Mod Podge all over the crushed glass and glitter and it will seal it in. If you don't have Mod Podge, I heard that you can use like some kind of hairspray, holding spray or a spritz or something like that. I've never done that before, but I heard you can use hairspray as well. So once this is dry, I will complete the um, other switch plates that I have in my kitchen area and then I'll be back with a finished look. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to complete another outlet. Um, and this is the, well, the plate cover. This is the outlet cover. And I'm going to complete the same process as I did as the switch cover. The double plate that I have that have the outlet um, and the switch cover combined, that is already finished and it will be shown once I um, complete this tutorial with a final look. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing as I did before in the switch plate cover. And I'm just putting, I'm not going to put a generous amount of glue on here because as I said, I don't like a lot of blinging. So it's up to you to do it how you choose. And you can also take it as far as out the edge of the cover, but I'm not going to take it out that far. And again, you can use any kind of glue um, that you prefer. And you can still use the Mod Podge. It's all up to you. I like to use this kind of glue because it, it pretty much... Um, make the glass bond quicker and it, it doesn't fall so easy and it dries pretty fast as well. As you can see, I'm not using much. But you can use as much as you want. Now I'm just going to take my glitter and I'm going to sprinkle some over this glass and glue while the glue is still um, wet. And this is how it looks and I'm gonna set it aside to dry and since we have this one is pretty much um, dry this is the the plate for the switch cover and I'm gonna take my brush along with some Mod Podge and here's the Mod Podge I just poured it into this top and I'm just going to take my brush, dip it in the Mod Podge, and I'm just going to just blot it all over the glass. This will seal it in. This will keep any glass from falling along with the 
uh, glitter. And you would want to put a generous amount. Um, you don't have to put a whole lot. It takes a while to dry. But I found out that using my heat blower, it dries it pretty fast. So if I didn't have my heat, my heat blower, then I would be probably letting this dry for about eight hours, if not longer, maybe not that long. But I'm going to use my heat blower to this so it'll dry faster. And I'm just going to take this all the way around with the Mod Podge. And the best Mod Podge to get is the gloss because it dries with a shiny finish and it dries clear, of course. I never use the, I think it's the matte kind. I don't know what it is, but every time I buy Mod Podge, I always buy the gloss because it has a uh, clear finish once it dries. And it's, it's also shiny. It has a gloss to it. Okay, so now that I have my Mod Podge on here, I can take more um, crushed glass and glitter and sprinkle it over there on it again. And then once it dries, then I can put more Mod Podge on it to seal it. So I'm not going to do that. This one coat is good enough for me. And as I said, you can do it as much as you want to, you know, your preference. But this is good enough for me. And I'm going to set this aside to dry. Um, I'm going to use my heat blower maybe after about 30 minutes. And then I will, I should be able to um, do the same thing with the outlet cover. I will use my Mod Podge in the same process that I just did this switch cover and I'll be back once everything is completed so this is how it turned out the Mod Podge isn't completely dry yet that's the white that you see and this is the other one that I already had completed when I did my backsplash I'll be doing a tutorial on how I did my coffee bar real soon and I'll be back with more videos thank you